an analyst performing threat hunting researches tactics, techniques, and procedures, TTPs, as well as indicators of compromise, IOCs, to detect and mitigate threats proactively, rather than waiting for a compromise to occur. Threat hunting can be a very time-intensive manual process, especially when the analyst has to carry out several steps on multiple disparate systems. Swim Lanes Security Orchestration Automation and Response SOAR platform integrates your entire security toolset and automatically executes research queries and other threat hunting activities at machine speed. This enables an analyst to rapidly analyze all relevant threat data and immediately execute the correct response, drastically reducing resolution time. Swimlane's workflows allow you to automate as many evaluation decisions as you want, leaving analysts free to focus on the highest priority threats. To see the immense value automated threat hunting capabilities can deliver to the typical security operations center, let's compare a typical scenario with and without Swimlane. Without a SOAR solution like Swimlane, an analyst often starts by using tools like an RSS reader, threat intel feeds, and the analyst's favorite research blogs to manually collect IOCs and look for any new TTPs being employed by adversaries. At some point during this process, the analyst might notice a certain MD5 hash has emerged as a second stage indicator of a Trojan infection. To verify the IOC is a valid threat to hunt, the analyst now opens additional browser tabs and performs a series of additional research queries. Based on the severity rating found in some of the queries, the analyst starts hunting for the MD5 hash. The analyst must now log into their SIM and other tools to begin the hunting process. After logging into each tool, the analyst runs queries for the suspect MD5 hash. In this example, the analyst finds a total of seven matches. Now the analyst begins documenting the matches and preparing the incident reports by copying and pasting the host details and other information into the appropriate reports. Once the reports have all of the details added, the analyst submits the incidents for approval and after approval, notifies the impacted parties and closes the case. In a typical SOC without a source solution in place, this process could take an analyst two hours or longer to complete. Now let's see what happens when Swimlane is used in the SOC to assist the analyst. This analyst begins their day by logging into Swimlane, where they view the indicators that Swimlane has automatically ingested from RSS feeds, threat intel feeds, and the analyst's favorite research blogs. The analyst clicks on the intelligence that has been verified to be malicious first. Looking at the intelligence, the analyst sees that a specific MD5 hash has been identified as a second stage indicator of a Trojan infection. This has already been automatically verified by Swimlane using a VirusTotal API query. The analyst promptly does not need to perform any additional research on this indicator given how high the VirusTotal positive's severity rating is. However, if the analyst wants to, they can click on these research links, Google, VirusTotal, Bing, or ThreatMiner to gather additional intelligence about this indicator using one-click pre-filled searches customized for these resources. Once the analyst decides to perform a threat hunt and determine if this indicator has been spotted in their environment, they simply click the threat hunting tab, verify that no threat hunts exist yet, and click go hunting. This generates a new threat hunt record in Swimlane. The new threat hunt record will contain a query that has been designed for the appropriate platform, in this case for Carbon Black. The custom query looks for this specific hash in the previous 14 days of records to identify whether or not this indicator has been seen in the environment in the last two weeks. When the query results come back, Swimlane informs the analyst that there are seven hits for the query. If the analyst wishes, they can view the raw results by clicking for more details or they can click Generate Report to create the appropriate report. Once the analyst clicks Generate Report, Swimlane takes all of that information from the JSON blob. The query, the date scanned, the event ID, affected hosts, affected users, file names, PIDs, execution times, matching processes, hashes, etc. are all used to populate the report. The case severity is determined by the number of individual hosts affected. These dates reflect the first and last positive hits and the title indicates what was searched for in the results. The description contains the detailed information on the individual hits, 
and the indicator and hostname fields are separated out for the report. Now all the analyst needs to do is review the report, make any modifications they deem necessary, and then click Submit Incident Report. Once this status moves from in handling to closed, the incident report has been submitted to a supervisor and the analyst's work is complete. Rather than taking multiple hours with a mostly manual effort, the analyst now completes this process in minutes by leveraging Swimlane's automation and orchestration. For more information about Swimlane and how it can orchestrate, automate, and improve your thread hunting, please visit us at swimlane.com.